Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 68 and today we are going to work with the reset selector. So before I jump into the code, I am assuming that you have the jQuery file with you and you have added the reference of that into your head section and I'm also assuming that you have written this code which is going to execute the jQuery instruction once the document loading completes. Okay. So how the reset works? Again, a reset is entitled with the input elements. So wherever it finds an input element and the type is reset, it's going to pick up that element. So if I run this thing, so you might have assumed the results, it's going to pick up the reset type. Doesn't matter if it is enabled or disabled. Right. So this was pretty easy, small and sweet. All right. So up next, we are going to look at the checkbox, which is quite a tricky one, but we're going to get through that. All right. So in case if you run into any problems, then guys, please let me know via comment. I will be able to help you for sure. So again, thank you for listening and thank you for your time on this.